So if you missed the last offseason episode, you missed a lot. We ended up trading the sixth overall pick that we got from the Clippers in the swap wars that happened in real life in the Marcus Morris deal. Yeah, the Clippers were bad. They got the sixth overall pick. So we used that and Kelly Oubre to trade up to get the number one consensus pick, Tony Jukic. 81 overall already, 20 years old, but he will be overseas for years. So next year, he might come in as like an 85, 86 rookie. We also, by trading Kelly Oubre, created a max slot. And yes, we used it on LeBron James. We signed him to a one-year deal worth 43 mil. AD recruited his buddy to New York. This might be the only year he is a Nick, but you know, after letting a lot of Knicks fans down in 2010, when people thought that they were going to sign LeBron and he chose obviously Miami, he's coming back to New York here. He's coming to New York, I should say, and trying to get the Knicks a championship, something that the fans have been craving for so, so long. So yeah, we are starting off the 2022-2023 season today. We will, I think, be going up against the Nashville Stars expansion team. I did get Jason Kidd's trust and mood all the way up, or pretty much trust, but not mood. But mood is not a good place because now I can see my system proficiency. We are doing our highest star system proficiency, which is pace and space. So that's four stars. We can also edit, um, we can have substitutions and run plays in the game now. So yeah, this this was the starting five. I'm very excited to see what this team can do. I think it's very good. Obviously, let's hope injuries don't screw us over. I thought Matt Thomas was getting a decent more a couple more minutes than that, but I guess we'll start the season with him getting three minutes. We will simulate the first game of the year against the Portland Trailblazers, and we lost. Great. <laughs> AD at 42-14 and four LeBron at 20-11, but yeah, we ended up losing. <laughs> That is not what I want to see. We have a new test from the governor. He wants to improve the teammate chemistry. Yeah, it's going to go up. We just sound like LeBron. Like, it's going to take some time. So, we have a new test from Beats. Okay. Our sponsorship. Let's see what they have to say. I just checked the prices we're selling in the stadium. They're way too low. Do me a favor. Increase it. Okay. Oh, so here we go. Merchandise, souvenirs. Could we see the Beats or where they're at? No. Huh. I wonder what beats qualifies as three dollar ice cream not bad six dollar burgers bro these these meals are prices are pretty good so i'm just gonna up everything by like 10 cents and we'll see if that kind of solves that issue um yeah we'll just do that all right so here we go first game of the season let's see what we can do we're taking on the nashville stars this is gonna be fun so here we go this is their starting five patrick Ware, if you remember we wanted to draft him in the uh first draft for us but we ended up taking one of war and they also have uh former magic in mo bamba aaron gordon i saw they also have nikhil alexander walker and michael porter jr it's a fairly good team remember they had lebron last year as well but here we go oh my god seeing lebron okay good he's wearing number 23 because i was gonna have to change that if he definitely wasn't so patrick Ware driving he's gonna pull up that is no good lebron Gets his first rebound at MSG. He's running the floor. Oh, you know, he's got a full out of steam going to the rim. Let's go, LeBron. I really wish we were able to uh, download draft classes because imagine we were able to like draft Bronny like down the line. That would have been so cool for this series. But yeah, if you watch the playoffs episode, you could see where they ended up. I don't even remember if the Nashville Stars made the playoffs or they got bounced in like round one. They might not have even made it, LeBron. Terrible kind of close out the year on MPJ there. All right, but we still got Quicksilver, Wendell Warren. You know he's like the fastest player in the NBA. So let's kick it to LeBron here and let's see what they want to run up. Screenplay for AD. Kick that back to LeBron. LeBron, go. Oh, but bear it with the screen and we get it. Okay, I'm going to not. I can't do that. I can't be forcing shots just because it's LeBron. Oh, Mitchell Robinson. Does he wear 23? He might. Is that why he's wearing seven now? Quicksilver, get into the rim with ease. Wendell Warren's first bucket at home this year. I think we also need to get the headband back on LeBron. But yeah, MPJ's got uh, six points if he knocks on this free throw. And yeah, all right, he's got all six of their points so far. All right, even though we still, like, we got LeBron and we're going to want to use him, we got to go to arguably our best player. He's our highest rated player. Uh, let's kick that out to RJ Barrett. Wendell Warren for three. We upgraded his three in the offseason. No good. AD can't get the board there. They kill Alexander Walker from downtown. That is no good. Rebound by LeBron. Let's kick it up to Quicksilver. And Wendell Warren going straight to the rim. He is so quick. All right, we got LeBron and AD running the fast break. AD go to rim. Al Uke that. LeBron to AD. Oh, good D there by Aaron Gordon. All right, we got to go to RJ Barrett, though. And terrible D there by Nikhil Alexander Walker. I'm expecting RJ to still average over 17 points, or at least 16 this year. I think we would have had other plans. Like, if Tony Jukic was playing this year, I don't think I would have won after LeBron or even, like, another free agent. Like, I would have just tried to develop Wendell Warren, RJ Barrett, and Jukic. But since 
I, I don't know. I wanted to contend for a championship next year, and I knew LeBron could have just been a one-year deal. So we're going to try to win him with him this year, and then most likely not bring him back and kind of go with the youth movement of Wendell, Barrett, and Jukic. And then AD is obviously still going to be our star player. But hey, we're getting way too ahead of ourselves. This is our second game of the season. There'll be a couple episodes until the playoffs where we're hoping for championship aspirations. I do like Patrick Ware's like fit. Like he looks pretty good on the floor as Aaron Gordon's going to get that rebound definitely over Wendell Warren. All right, let's see the LeBron and AD pick and roll. We haven't seen it yet. And I got to get AD on the board. Is this going to be an AD pick and roll this? Let's go. Let's get that screen. Let's kick that right to Anthony Davis and AD. Hmm, he missed that. AD with the screen. LeBron's going to get right to the rim around MPJ and he gets the end one. Can LeBron complete the three point play? Yes, he can. Let's go. We are tied up at 13. LeBron with the steal. Let's go kick that up to Wendell Warren. Oh, let's go. Perfect pass from LeBron to Quicksilver. Wendell's got eight already. Wendell Warren, A plus permanent D. LeBron, A plus. RJ, A minus. A, uh, AD has A. Wow, we are such a good defensive team. As you can see right there, Wendell with the steal. Can he split the defense? He can. And he's going to get the layup to go. He's got 10 points. So they also have Jalen Brunson who just got subbed in. And who is that number 42? I thought that was originally B Lisa, but it's definitely not. I think it's Maxi Kleba. So Wendell kicks it up to RJ Barrett who's going to alley up to LeBron. Let's go. This team is so much fun. AD though, zero points, zero rebound, zero assists. We got to get him on the board. AD gets his first rebound, kick it up to Wendell. And like, look how fast Wendell is. We'll kick it to LeBron. LeBron, I didn't need to do a spin move. But anyway, he's got nine points. LeBron, you can see his points did drop from 31 and 22 or 31 um, in 2020 to 22 last year as Jalen Brunson driving. I'm lurking here with Mitchell Robinson. I thought Wendell was going to get a steal there. Maxi Kleber for three. That's no good. All right, kick it up to LeBron. Let's go, LeBron. Get it right around Maxi Kleber with ease and he camps it. Oh my God. LeBron is so good. All right, fast forward a little bit to the second quarter. We did kind of blow our 10 uh, point lead already. We are up 35 to 34 with AD at the line. I've literally just sat here for like a minute. What, what's going on? All right, here we go. We got AD and we got Powell. We got a Kogi in at the three, Ty Jerome, and then Luke Bishop. Yeah, we get to see second year Bishop this year. Uh, we did pay Mitchell Robinson a lot of money last offseason, but I, I didn't want to let him go because I wanted to go all in on this year. Chris Clemens off the screen and he knocks down that three. All right. I actually just found out I think he's the smallest person in the NBA. He's 5'9", I believe. Okay. Don't know why I said okay there, but let's get a screen from AD. Akogi to the rim. AD, roll. Okay, AD. I don't even know who's guarding him. Out to Norman Powell. Norman. Oh, he was moving. No way he knocks that down. Almost hit it. Okay, so that's this guy Atkins. I'm guessing, yeah, he's obviously an auto-generated rookie. He looks like one as Mo Bamba gets that to go. And they're up by three. I guess, like, just... uh. A quick observation, early observation. Our bench is probably going to be like one of our weak points as AD misses the jumper. Like, I don't know if Luke Bishop is ready to be like a top two score off the bench. Like, obviously, we can rely on Norman Powell, but can Bishop perform? Can Ty Jerome, Josh Akogi provide us offense when we need it as Mo Bamba? No way that goes in. Good D there by Anthony Davis. Kick it up to Ty Jerome. Over to Josh Akogi. Can Akogi get to the rim? Yes, he can. Let's go, Josh. But I really want Akogi to be able to knock down a three because he's such a good defender. So that would be huge for our second unit. So if he's able to knock down like the three ball, like he could definitely have a spot in the rotation. Because we know Ty Jerome's more of a playmaker, passer, set everybody up rather than playing offense or at least scoring. That's what I meant to say. Uh, defense doesn't look too good there. Kick it to 80 in the post. He's got Michael Porter Jr. on. This should be easy. Go inside. Oh, whoa. I was not expecting that. 80 with the steal though. Let's kick it up to Josh Kogi. Josh, can you get around? Mo Bamba, give that inside to Norman Powell. Oh, okay, I'm going to get stuffed if I even bother with that. So Luke Bishop, kick that to AD. AD, get that to go. Thank you. Chris Clemens driving. AD can't get the block there, but Mo Bamba with the tip slam. Come on, Luke. You got to box out. AD, though, going right at Mo Bamba. He's going to the line. I had Taj Gibson subbing in for Anthony Davis, who was a vet we signed in the offseason. Technically, we signed him because he left the slasher. We didn't bring him back. So when he comes in, not a lot of offense in the second unit with Jerome Powell, Akogi, Taj Gibson, and Luke Bishop. All right, so out of a substitution, Taj Gibson is coming in, but we also have LeBron, Barrett, Wendell, and Mitchell Robinson all coming back in. So we'll be fine with offense here as they got Patrick Ware. They still have Obamba out there. They got Chris Clemens at the two, Atkins at the three, and then Michael Porter Jr. at the four. That's a mismatch on Taj Gibson. Good D there, Taj. And that's a backcourt. Good job. Montage. All right, Wendell Warren going right around Patrick Ware with ease. He's got 12. Wendell Warren with another steal. Okay, should I pull it for three? I might. I might pull it for three. And he turns it right over. I'm so stupid. What am I doing? 
Uh, maybe take the lead. LeBron's got a rookie on him. You know that's a mismatch. And LeBron, can you get around him? Whoa, I actually could have got by him. Oh, well. Go right at him, LeBron. Why are you stopping there? All right, Mitchell Robinson with the rebound. Thank you. He almost gets rejected by Mo Bamba, who picks up his fourth foul in the second quarter. Well, that's kind of huge as Mitch Rob misses the first free throw. I kind of like number seven on Mitchell Robinson as he goes one for two at the line. RJ Barrett, only two points so far. Taj Gibson with a nasty block on Michael Porter Jr. And RJ is going to be all alone. Throw it down, Rowan. Mitchell Robinson with a block on Maxi Kleba, and I jumped way too early there, but we get almost a steal out of bounds. Amazing D by Mitchell Robinson there. That's why we had to re-sign him, because he's so good on that end of the floor. Kicking to Mitchell Robinson all alone on Maxi Kleba. Mitchell Robinson bully him inside and slam it and one. It's too easy for Mitch. Can he complete the three-point play? Of course not. RJ almost gets a steal, but then stuffs Chris Clemens. Wendell Warren with the steal. Okay, kick that to RJ Barrett. Oh, Mitchell Robinson, you could have ran with us. Spin move inside. No, mm, that's not going to go on, but Mitchell Robinson, the cleanup crew, kicking to Taj Gibson. Uh, out to RJ. I don't know what I'm doing here. RJ get right inside, and he gets the layup to go. Beautiful connection there, and finished by RJ Barrett. Michael Porter Jr. getting right around Taj Gibson, and Mitchell Robinson with a great contest there. Kick it up to Wendell Warren. Quick silver splitting the D out to RJ Barrett for three. RJ, let's go. Michael Porter Jr. driving. Good D there by Taj Gibson. Rebound by Mitchell Robinson. Kicked that up to LeBron. I can't believe we could say that now when LeBron get right to the rim and posterize the rookie Atkins. LeBron, man. It's too much fun. All right, here at the start of the third, we have our full starting five out there right now. We are up by, uh, what is that, 15 points? Just kidding, that's 16. I don't know how to do math, but hey, we're killing it. LeBron's got 19, Wendell's got 17, RJ has 9, 80 with 9, Mitchell Robinson with 5, 8, and 1. LeBron gets his sixth rebound. That's up to Wendell Warren. Can you he beat Aaron Gordon? Yes, he can. Oh my God, a nasty block there by Aaron Gordon. But imagine like Wendell had like the athleticism of like John Wall, John Moran, or like Russell Westbrook. Like he'd be yamming that every time. He'd be unstoppable with his speed, but it, it, it's whatever. Aaron Gordon from downtown. That is no good. Rebound by Mitchell Robinson. Kick that up to RJ Barrett. RJ oop that to LeBron. No, and we turned it over. Michael Porter Jr. has definitely been their number one option as he's going to miss that man. He's probably not shooting great tonight as I think he is cold. Uh, over to Wendell Ward. I'll oop that to Anthony Davis. Oh, okay. Still goes to LeBron. That was a very lucky assist. We are now up by 18. We're killed. Ah, oh, damn. Wendell Warren with the steal. Oh, that's going to go back to Patrick Ware. Are they going to get an eight second? Oh, I thought so. AD with the rebound after a Patrick Ware miss. Kicked that up to Mitchell Robinson. Over to RJ Barrett. And RJ is going to throw that down. Beautiful find by Mitch Rob there. MPJ from downtown. Can he end his cold streak? No, Mitchell Robinson can't get the rebound over Mobamba. And he's going to the line. Third foul on Mitch Rob. All right, so we are going to run this play. I, I wish it, like, told me what the play was, like, in the top when, like, it's happening. As LeBron kicked that out to AD. AD, ugh, that's a long two, but can he knock it down? No, he cannot. I feel like AD hasn't been all that good. Mitchell Robinson has a lot smaller defender on him in. They kill Alexander Walker. That's not his shot. I don't know why I took that. Mo Bamba is going to go two for two at the line. All right, is this play for LeBron in the post? I think so. Yeah, let's see that. I wonder if they're going to double team. Yeah, kick that out to RJ Barrett. Ooh, actually good D there by Nog. We got to shoot this before. Three second violation. LeBron's got 23, six and six here. He's 11 for 14. We're being super efficient with him. I feel like I'm taking a lot of inside shots with him as well. And Porter Jr. still has 14 points. He's shooting well from three, but I just don't think he's shooting all that well overall from the field. RJ's going to get right around the Nashville Stars D and he gets an add one. You love to see it but can he complete the three-point play yes he can let's go yeah Patrick Ware not winning the point guard battle he's one for six two points he's a minus 20 as you can see Wendell Warren is maybe about to get points 19 on the night and he does he is out dueling the other point guard drafted in the top five in the 2020 draft he might have been drafted second I think Spencer Rhodes to the Pacers went one and then he went second or then Cole Bradley no no he was the third point guard drafted yeah he was the third because I'm pretty sure it went I think Spencer Rhodes one and then Cole Bradley two or vice versa and then he was definitely three LeBron can he get this over Michael Porter Jr. and one he's got 25 7 and 7 in the third and LeBron is going to complete the three-point play let's go to the fourth all right final four and a half minutes of the fourth quarter we're up by 17 points LeBron needs one assist for a triple double you know we're gonna try to give him that RG's got 14 4 and 4 Wendell Warren has 27 points yeah he's got 27 3 and 5 he's killing it he's got 15 and 10 
Lovely. RJ Barrett for three or way down top three. Either way, we should get this rebound. Oh, wow. That was a long miss. Mitchell Robinson picks up his fifth foul. I mean, he could foul out. It's whatever. We should be winning this game. Let's get Luke Bishop in. Luke Bishop's got 10 points and four rebounds. All right, let's get AD the ball here. Let's just literally post him up on Aaron Gordon. We might get a double team. Yeah, we do. So let's kick that out to RJ, but we get stripped. Good D there by Naw. All right, it's a 12 point lead. I can't get my foot off the pedal now. So uh, let's just go straight to the rim with LeBron. This is like the easiest thing ever because he's so good and he is taking over. Over. All right, we got LeBron one-on-one -on -one with Aaron Gordon. You know this isn't gonna end well for Gordon. Oh my god He's so good he is so freaking good. So, yeah, we're pretty much going to be picking up our first victory of the year. Second game of the season. First one at home, undefeated at home. LeBron, LeBron stat line. I'm just so astonished. I can't even speak correctly. He's got 35, 14. Make that 15 and 12. It only is right for him to dribble out the clock here. Oh boy, this season's going to be fun. I, I can already tell this season's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to show no sportsmanship. LeBron pull up. He looked at the ball, so you know what's going in. Oh, no. I'm just messing around. But hey, huge game one in MSG from LeBron. I'm so excited for this season to see what this team can do. So yeah, one and one on the season. Hey, I'll, I, you know what? We're only two games in. So let's see if we can pick up a win against Minnesota. And because that'd be pretty embarrassing if we start off one and two. No, we blow them out. We end up winning by 29 points. Wendell had 25 and seven. AD 23 and nine. LeBron at 15 and 14. Okay, uh, we had a bunch of guys in double digits. Matt Thomas comes in, hits a three, leaves. That's what I want to see. Another game here against the Hawks. But first, we have to attend our weekly press conference and then meet with our our trainer. So let's see what Nathan Melbourne has to say. Is there any concern in your front office that your so-called pricing strategy will make it impossible for working class families to win 10 games? It's a business. Don't agree. No comment. I'm going to say I don't agree. Uh, okay. No, that was the right answer. Our CFO has a new test for us. Let's see what he wants. Um, I just checked the prices we're selling in the stadium. They're way too low. Do me a favor and increase it. Okay, so we'll increase those prices. New test from the owner. So we've won a lot lately. Keep up the winning streak. I mean, we're on like a two-game winning streak, but okay. Or I guess technically we're on a three-game winning streak. All right, so let's see. Can we pick up a win here against... Oh, wait. We won against Atlanta? Yes. Yeah, so we ended up winning by 27 points. Trey... Mm, I forgot about this team. I never want to play that team again, like in game. So I really hope we don't face them in the playoffs. AD went off in this game. RJ had 25 on great efficiency all around. He's shooting 92% from the line. Let's hope that's sustainable. We got a game here against the Indiana Pacers and we blow them out as well. We win by 41 points. Damn. Okay. Wendell Warren is 28 and seven. He's killing it so far this season. There's AD. Mitchell Robinson was a perfect nine for nine. Luke Bishop, 17 and four. LeBron, 11, nine and 15. As we picked up an L against uh, Philly there, we lost by seven. Okay. Second loss of the year. We are four and two. I don't know if that means the winning streak ended um, in his mind, like, or he, did, he only wants us to win one more game of the winning streak. Luke Bishop at 27 in this game. That might be a career high. No, he's had 31 before. Okay. Wendell Warren had 25 and 6. AD 19 and 17. LeBron 17 and 10. So through the first seven games, AD is our leading scorer. He's averaging 26 and a half points, 10 and a half, or excuse me, 12 and a half rebounds, three assists, two blocks, 58, 39, 87 splits. Yeah, he's our best player still. LeBron 18 and a half points, 11 and a half assists. I am fine with that. Wendell Warren averaging 18 and 6 and a half. Maybe be an early most improved candidate look at that efficiency jump obviously smaller sample size rj is still shooting well from the line man if he can shoot above 70 like five percent this year i'd be very happy luke bishop killing it early on man he's shooting 34 from three as well how many threes has he attempted he's attempted 26 actually not bad there's mitchell robinson norman powell josh akogi and ty jerome so yeah that is going to be it for the first episode of this season. It was a shorter one, so the next couple will go on for a while. Like I think the next episode, we might get to the All-Star break. We might go through all of December and all of January. It might be a two-month episode. It could be 40 minutes long. Hey. But yeah, that is going to be for me. I'm just super excited to see what this team could do, especially in the playoffs down the line with LeBron James. But drop a like if you guys are enjoying the Knicks My GM. My plan for this is to probably get it done. Or at least, I, I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but finish the series before Next Gen comes out. So I'm going to start pumping these out a little bit more. And I know you guys are loving this series, so I know you guys will be down for that. Just because I don't know if the game will go over to Next Gen. But I play on PC, so actually there's going to be no Next Gen on PC. But I don't know if they're going to implement like a new MyGM, so maybe I'm going to want to start up a new MyGM. So yeah, I think this would probably realistically end near next gen and then start up a new one come that time so hey we got a while we have at least a month till then i do plan on doing at least two episodes a week and then maybe a live stream here and there on this but yeah that is gonna be for me thank you all for watching drop a like if you guys did enjoy love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video peace